Hi, I would like to show you a website that I found through my college class called wikispaces.com. You can put that in your um, bar at the top of your page and search for it. If you're new to wikis, you can come here to this page. Scroll down just a bit and it says free wikis for educators. You'll click on K-12 wikis where you can create your wiki site. You want to also make sure that you click that it is a private site for only those that are wiki members. Because I'm already a member, I'm going to click on sign in and I'm going to sign into my wiki account. I'm going to be creating a new wiki for you. I'm going to first name what my what I want for my wiki to be. And again, I want for it to be private. Only my wiki members can view and edit the page. And I want to also make sure that it's a K-12 education site. Click Create. This is just a tutorial that you're welcome to read through at your leisure. When you're ready to begin creating your site, this is the first page that you will see. First thing I want to do is um, make my site fun for my students and interesting, so we're going to click the edit button. And I'm going to um, have my students create um, or come up with ideas to pay for a class field trip. And I'm just going to say that we're going to go to a dairy. So I'm going to put my title on. And of course, I want to make it different and fun for them. So I'm going to click on the T and the color palette here. This is the area that I can choose to select what font I will be using. I can change my text color. Um, I can change my alignment to the center. And I can also change the size of my words. Then you'll click Apply Styles. Now, You'll also need to know how to put clip art on your page. So you're going to click on File, and you'll click Upload Files. Click Open once you've chosen what clip art to use. It may take just a moment. And now, you can click on it. Ah, and it made it huge. You can change the size of your clip art by just clicking the minus button. You can also choose to center it. Now I want to give my students just a bit of direction on what they're going to be doing. So I'm just going to tell them that they're going to share their ideas on how to pay for our field trip. Now I want for them to have steps to follow. So I'm going to click save on this page. Here is what your home page will look like. Then I'm going to click on new page. I'm going to actually name my new page step one because I teach second grade. They need to be able to see that it's step one, two, three, four, or however many. Okay, and then I'm going to click create. Now on this page, I might want for them to maybe view a video. So I'm going to tell them that I want for them to watch the video. On, how, on some different ideas for raising money. Okay. In order to put a video into my wiki, I will click on widget, and then I will click on video, and I'm going to go to YouTube. Now, I've previously looked up what video I want to use, so I'm going to go to that now. I'm going to use Lemonade for Sale with Reading Rainbow. I will click share, 
and then I will click embed. The information in this box right here is what I want to put in, the, in my wiki site. So I'm going to copy it, go back to my wiki site, and in this box I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to click save. Okay. And then I'm going to click save here. And now you'll see that my video has been embedded into my site. Now I want to create one more page, at least. This is going to be step number two for my students. On this page, I might want for them to have a file that they download and take back to their desk. So um, I'm going to tell them to print the picture and uh, maybe make a poster to share with their friends. So I'll click File and Upload. And I've downloaded a PDF file. Once it comes up, I'll click on it. Now, I have it uploaded to the site so students can click on it. You have to save it first. Now, they can click on it. And it will bring up their picture where they can print it and take it back to their desk and create a... Um, picture to go along with it. I'm going to create one more new page for my students. This would be step three. Now on this page, this is where I want for them to be able to share their idea with other students. So I'm just going to give them the direction to click on the word ideas and share or and read the pro read the question and answer it. I'm also going to ask him to talk about other students ideas. Also, what do you think of your classmates ideas? Please end your post by signing or by typing your name. Okay. In order to do this, I'm going to, going to go to widget again and I'm going to create a discussion board for my students. So, I went to widget and I click on discussion area. Here, I'm going to click on the number of comments. I want to make sure there's plenty of comments um, for my students to be able to talk back and forth to each other. So I'm going to say that I want 50 comments to be um, available. Click Embed Discussion Area and click Save. Now for now, this is what it looks like. But if I click on Discussion and click New Post, I'm going to name it Ideas. And I'm going to say, um, how should we raise money? Um, why is this a good idea? And I'm going to ask them to respond to their classmates' ideas. And I'm going to click Post. Now, if I'll go back to my page, Step 3, you'll see that a discussion has been started. I told the students earlier to click on the word ideas, and if I do that, it comes up and you can see my questions, and they can reply to it here. And I asked them to sign their name because my students don't all have email addresses so that they can all have their own wiki page. So if they'll write their ideas, they can actually be under my wiki and be working on this. Okay. All right, now to make it easier for my students, I am going to go back to my first page, click edit, and I'm going to link this to my first step. 
So I'm going to just say, click here for step one. I'm going to highlight this, click link, and I'm going to link it to an existing page, and my page name would be step one. Add the link. And click save. Now, when my students come to this page and they want to know what they're going to do next, they'll just click on step one. It will take them to the next step. On the next pages, I would have it go to have it linked to my next page. Now, um, in order to make it more fun and more exciting, I'm going to go to Manage Wiki. And I'm going to go to Look and Feel. Here, I'm able to choose what theme I want for my wiki to be. I can choose a different color. Click Apply. Um, I can go back to Manage Wiki. And I might also want to invite somebody else to be a part of my wiki. So I'm going to send this to my school address. Now I've just invited somebody else to be a member of my wiki page. So I want to show you what it looks like once you have a finished product. So I'm going to sign out here and I'm going to go to my inbox on my school mail, which I have to sign back into. Okay. Now I've been invited to a couple of different wiki spaces. I'm going to go to the one that I actually created earlier today. And I'm going to sign in with my username and account that I have through my school. Click sign in. And this is what the people will see whenever you have invited them to a wiki space. This is what I would have up for my students to use throughout the day. So, if you'll look at my page, we're raising money to go to Boot Hill. They're going to read through that. Click on step one. Watch the video. Go to step two. Here is where they can respond to the different um, posts that have been made. They click on ideas and you can see the questions that I've asked them. And they can go on to step three. On step three is where they'll print off the poster that they can um, do at their desk. And then I'm also going to make a survey once all of my students have responded for them to click their favorite choice. So that is what this page is for. Um, I like SurveyMonkey, so I'll go into SurveyMonkey and give them the choices that they can do. I hope you find this fun and useful and that you're able to use it in your own classroom. Thank you.